I went to the Wildwood Sports Card uh, Convention show. Oh, I, I want to hear all about this. And it was everything that I thought it was going to be. I'll tell you that. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I can give you know our listeners the rundown. So pretty much the show, I was looking to sell running backs. If you listen to episode two, I was talking about flipping the running backs and putting the quarterbacks. But um, I failed miserably because the temperature of the show was they wanted to sell more than buy. So my thing was, you know, I had to adjust. So what I did was I got my I got my hands dirty. I got my hands dirty into the 50 cents quarter boxes, dollar boxes and found some hidden gems. Right. Value shopping. Yeah, I was value shopping. So and during the show, I was giving them my my graded cards you know, because I wanted to sell. So what I did was I actually gave them all of my cards that I brought, right? Like I brought everything, Drew Brees uh, rookies. I brought, uh, I brought Frank Gore rookies, everything. So as the show went on, it got real interesting, right? So they were trying to lowball me on a lot of prices. So obviously I didn't make any deals, but what I did was, and this is a really good tip for anybody that goes to card shows and you want to sell Get a feel for the show. Get a temperature check. What are, what are these vendors looking to do? Are they looking to buy your shit? Are they looking to sell more than buy? So at the show, obviously, they were looking to obviously uh, sell more than buy. So what I did was I just gave them my cards. And pretty much I paid attention to human behavior. What do they want? Right? What are they looking to buy? right now so i didn't sell anything there but when i got home on monday i listed all the cards th that they saw and i listed them on ebay and i made 700 bucks this weekend damn 700 wow. bucks i mean awesome, look bro. i spent all all day monday listing all the cards but it was worth it 700 bucks in a day. I know you didn't even answer that. my text. You need to hit me. He got the bag. I was busy, fellas. Come crazy. On. Crazy. I was wow. Busy. So, yeah, I mean, like, overall, the main theme is you always got to adjust in the shows, right? You always got to adjust. So you, like, you take a break and think about, all right, what's going on? Where can I succeed? Where can I make some money? So, I dipped into the 50 cent boxes and I bought a couple cards and I listed them on eBay and hoping I'm making 10x return. So I bought, you know, an optic hollow of Carson Wentz. I nice. Bought, I MVP. Bought, I took a gamble, a 50 cent gamble on uh, Deshaun Watson. Sorry to hear that. Silver Prism. He's Can't a pile of shit. Wait till next year. Yeah, exactly. It's going to go up. So 50 cents, It's there's, there's no risk. So it's cool. I, I had a good time at the show. It was awesome. And uh, yeah, how was yours? That was good, man. I spent the uh, weekend in Ocean City with my wife, uh, my in-laws and my son. Uh, took my son to the boardwalk for the first time. I actually got to go on rides without a mask. Uh, that was a normal experience. But that was really it. We just laid low. We went to the beach. I chased him around for two hours. And then I went home and tried to relax. And But he was still running around crazy. So yeah, that's, that's basically the, that's what it was. I chased my two-year-old around for three days down the shore in Ocean <laughs> City. And I laughed with my wife. So, nice. But overall, it was, a, it was a good weekend. I enjoyed myself. So Next car show, you guys got to come with me. Sign me you up. Have to come with. Me. When I is got, the next I got one? Binders, you know I'm ready. What's up? Didn't you throw them out? No, I'm not, not those. Too soon. Uh, come on now. Too come soon, on. Bro. My bad. Uh, I'm not yeah. ready for that. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm gonna go in your trash and find some hidden gems yeah, in there. For real. <laughs> if you find that bag, you'll be making money. <laughs> I'm gonna go trash picking. <laughs> when is the, when's the next show? I have to do my research on that. I be, you just look it up on if you anybody that's willing to go to the shows just google uh new jersey card shows and it, it pops up right on google so it's usually well, stay tuned nick's gonna announce on our shows absolutely I'll definitely and if we're give attending you guys you're definitely gonna hear about it yeah i'll definitely give you i'll give you guys some dates so you can guys can you know follow along or go or attend so yeah i mean that was pretty much it it was just temperature check figuring out what to do and then supply adjusting. and demand you you saw Bullshit. what was in demand you and you sold it literally three days later for way more i'm studying i mean human, that's just genius i'm studying human behavior human behavior that's it i mean take notes people take notes the psycho the psychology podcast it's exactly right at np sports right here it's psychotic, psychotic and iconic <laughs> like that's it yeah like <laughs> yeah bro that's it
Thanks for watching that clip of the Psychotic and Iconic Sports Podcast. If you want to watch the full episode, it is available on our YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to get updated when we drop new heat. Be sure to check us out on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We will be releasing an episode every Friday at 8 a.m. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time at P&I.